Out of all the tests that I do on this channel, the C++ is one of the most requested ones because, well, C++ is everywhere. So can't forget to test C++ on the new Dell XPS 15, 12th generation Intel Core i9. Whew. This does have an RTX NVIDIA 3050 Ti on it, but doesn't matter for this particular test because this is a CPU test. So this Core i9 is going up against the M1 Max in the MacBook Pro, and I've got this quick sort algorithm, uh, basically just implementing the quick sort algorithm in C++. That's what we're doing today. There's the code. I'll scroll it down for you if you want to slow down the video and pause it and have a look at it. Nothing special, just quick sort. It sorts numbers. In this case, we're sorting 1 million integers. Let's get on with it, shall we? I'm going to compile that program using G++. And by the way, for those of you that don't know, G++ on a Mac actually uses playing underneath the hood. In this case, look at that. It's the ARM version for Apple, and it's using Clang version 13.1. So we're going to use that to compile dash O main and we're gonna pass in main.c++. And on here, I've got Linux running on it using native Linux installed on bare metal in dual boot. I've also got G++ and there's the version information in case you're interested. And just a caveat here, I'm not a C++ developer. So if there's any kind of comments you wanna make about this particular test or how wrong it is, leave it down below, please. I'm sure a lot of people can benefit from uh, reading your comments. And before I run this test, I just gotta say thank you to all those C++ folks that always show up and give constructive criticisms and constructive comments for how this test can be improved. I've done some live streams where we've done live C++ compilations and that really helps out. Thanks folks. G++ O main. So I'm gonna run these at the same time, the compilation, it should not take long, but let's see. Okay, that's, that's barely noticeable. So the compilation itself for that is insanely fast. I know this is not a large project like some of you want to see. We'll have to leave that for another day. And if you do want to see a large project, you can also leave a comment down below and let me know where I can find one or what would be a good test. Hopefully it's open source and hopefully I can run it and build it here. And I'd be happy to do that. So that G++ compiled the code into an executable called main, which we're going to run now. And I'm going to use the time command to time it. So time main, and if it does have output, I wanna go ahead and shoot that to dev null so that we don't see anything. I'm gonna do the same thing here. And the Schwarzenegger comes out to play again. He's back. We're gonna execute these at the same time by pressing enter at the same time with these fun little fingers. All right, I know that's not weird or anything. <laughs> hey, I'm in a small room, okay? And I've been here for a while. Let's go. Okay, wow. Um. This is no contest. The Linux machine executed this in 8.2 seconds and the Mac 15.1 seconds, almost two times slower. Wow, that is a huge difference and I will run this again just to make sure we're getting consistent numbers. And yes, the numbers are pretty consistent. They are just a little bit faster on each one of these machines at eight seconds and 14.9 over here. One more time for old time's sake. Yep, eight seconds over here, 14.9 over here, pretty good. Intel, good job. Now, of course, there might be differences because we're using different versions of G++ here, so the compilation is slightly different, but to have it be two times slower in the execution, I don't know how we can tweak it to make it faster on the Apple Silicon machine. If you do know, comments. Thanks, folks, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.